hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a bit different than what i usually do today's video is going to be a vlog and i've never vlogged on my channel before so it's pretty cool i'm going to take you guys throughout my day with me and the reason i'm doing this is because i was kind of inspired to do this by casey is her name casey hill i don't know casey somebody she's a really big beauty guru on here um but she started a what i ate today healthy lifestyle change type vlog series um it just kind of inspired me to want to document it and you know kind of vlog my experience with you guys today i'm starting a new journey so as many of you probably know or you may not know i'm getting married in october and it's it's really got me motivated to look the way i want and lose weight and i've never been happy with how i look i've never been happy with my weight and I just um, I lack so much confidence because of it. I'm starting this three-day diet thing, um, also called the military diet. What it is is a very very low calorie diet that claims to help you lose weight. Like it claims to help you lose like up to 10 pounds a week. And I know that sounds very unhealthy, and I know it can be. I really do not want anyone commenting below saying, "Oh, this is stupid. You're trying to convince people to do this, and this is an unhealthy way to lose weight." Or um, you know, telling me just eat right, eat healthy and exercise and you'll lose weight. It's not hard. I don't want any negative comments like that. If you do, I will delete your comment. I promise you're wasting your time. I'm not recommending this to anyone because I know there are some health risks you take with this, but I'm not worried about it. I'm very healthy. I'm completely okay with doing this. If this works for me and you decide to do it, then that's great. I'm not saying you should do this because I am. I just wanted to kind of hold myself accountable for this and vlog it to kind of keep myself going because I know it's going to be hard. I've read different things and I have researched it and stuff and I, I'm not really sure what to believe because there are different, there are different claims and there are different like evidence of how this works and what the science is behind it and stuff. But if want to understand the combination of foods and some of them are very healthy and some of them like are not like there's hot dogs and there's vanilla ice cream this weird combination of foods together in a day is supposed to kind of cause i guess a chemical reaction in your body to burn calories but that's just from what i've heard from what i've read but the reason i wanted to start doing this is to kickstart my weight loss because i am very very impatient like most people are and i think that's the biggest reason why people fail because if you don't see immediate results then it's like this isn't working like what am i working my ass off for you know that's my biggest problem if i don't see results immediately like on day one or if i don't feel better if i don't look any different i just give up i get discouraged and disheartened and it's just it's really depressing i want to look better i want to feel better about myself i've always had a weight problem um I, like i said i'm not overweight i'm just kind of chubby i'm kind of thick and i have thunder thighs i have you know I have a little pooch my arms are getting a little bit flabby but and if i can see myself losing weight then i will be motivated to keep it off it's hard to be motivated and to stay motivated when like you can't imagine yourself being any different like i cannot imagine myself being any smaller than this because i've really never been smaller than this i feel like i've always looked like this i've always had the exact same problems you know when i was in fifth grade i you know started noticing my thunder thighs and felt horrible and started comparing myself to other friends and stuff i just really need to start losing weight and to see myself in a different light to stay motivated so that's why i'm doing this i don't like a lot of foods and that's the reason why i can't I can't lose weight healthy because I don't like healthy foods. I've been raised on southern home cooking and you know the fatty foods and sweet foods like I can eat a full-blown meal and be full and still have enough room for dessert. Well, I'm hoping that this kind of trains me to not be as hungry. I'm a very emotional eater. If I'm sad I eat. If I'm mad I eat. If I'm happy I eat. I'm hoping that this kind of trains me to not be as hungry and to not want that food if I'm off it long enough. So how this plan works is that you're on it for three days. You get off it for at least four during the first week. In general, you lose up to 10 pounds, but you have to kind of monitor yourself after you do the three-day diet and, you know, start eating right and start eating a little bit healthier and kind of tracking your calories and stuff. That's what they, re that's what they recommend. And I have a friend who lost like 60 pounds in a year. He didn't do it like consistently, like I'm going to do this once every two weeks for, you know, 12 months. I will post the information below i'll post all the information you need to know about it. if you want to start doing it yourself i'll post what you're supposed to eat and all that stuff down there but i just want to do this to hold myself accountable and to see the results day by day and kind of track and log and document how i'm feeling how the foods taste um, how i'm feeling throughout the day as far as if i'm hungry if i feel weak zia you're supposed to eat breakfast lunch and dinner all before six o'clock 
and the problem with this that I'm gonna have is that you're not supposed to drink a lot of water um, and I'm a big water drinker that's all I drink I hate coffee I hate tea I don't even drink soda yeah this video is gonna be a lot longer than what the other vlogs will be like because I'm introducing it to you and I'm kind of tell you guys why I'm doing it and what it's all about and whatnot and by the way I did get a scale yesterday that I'm pretty excited about it's supposed to weigh you and give your BMI your body fat percentage your body water percentage and your bone mass percentage so I'm really excited I just got it to work and I wanted to start this video a lot earlier it's like 1 30 right now and I've been messing with a stupid scale and calling people to try to get it worked to try to get it to working enough jabbering we're gonna go in here and we're gonna eat some food okay guys so here is day one breakfast um just to kind of go over what everything is it says you can have coffee or tea but no cream or sugar i don't like coffee or tea but i went with the great value unsweetened iced tea and i just went with half a cup and then it says half a grapefruit or grapefruit juice so i just got the simply grapefruit juice and i did a half a cup of that don't know which one i'm gonna start with first since i hate both of these and then one slice of toast with one tablespoon of peanut butter for the bread i'm using nature's own 100 percent whole wheat 100 percent whole grain and um, by the way if you are looking for bread whole grain is always better than whole wheat but um, I figured since this isn't like artificially colored or anything, it's not white, then it's probably better for you. And then for peanut butter, this is the Jif Reduced Fat Creamy Peanut Butter. I usually don't like peanut butter, but this is actually pretty good. It tastes more like the Reese's Peanut Butter. So yeah, I think I can do that. The toast, I'm not worried about. It's the tea and the grapefruit juice I'm probably going to be gagging over. <laughs> Let's do the toast. Usually I don't like toast and I don't like peanut butter, but... I can do that. It's not bad. And I do like this bread. Usually I'm very finicky about bread. But I really don't like bread. I can't eat like bread on its own. I don't like hamburger buns. I don't like hot dog buns a lot. Like I'm just very finicky. <laughs> I want water so bad. So let's see. The lesser of two evils. Which one? Let's try the grapefruit juice. I'm just afraid one of these, especially the tea, is going to make me sick because I feel like tea tastes like puke. This is a grapefruit juice. This is why I didn't get a grapefruit. I thought this would be easier to drink than eating like a nasty old grapefruit. Oh my god, this is going to take me a very long time to drink. That is tart. Okay, let's try this tea. How do you people drink this? It looks like water that is stale and then was peed in. What kind of flavor is that? If you guys are wondering, if you guys have saw my t-shirt, I know it's a Christmas t-shirt. I have no like spring or summer clothes here. This is the coolest, most comfortable thing I have, so don't judge me. And I will be back when it comes time for lunch. <sighs> so wish me luck. Hopefully I get through this without throwing up. Bye. Like 45 minutes later, I still haven't sucked down the grapefruit juice. It took me a while to eat the toast. Uh, just, it was too much. And then I just now finished this, the iced tea. But this grapefruit juice, holy hell, it tastes like you throw up in your mouth and you're swallowing it. And this could be a lot easier if you like this type of stuff. People say that you're so weak that you can't work out during this, but I think it's more that you're just so freaking depressed at this horrible food that you just cannot bring yourself to get up. So yeah, I'll be back soon whenever i feel like i need to update you guys but that's what my experience is so far hopefully this is helping you guys hopefully this is entertaining maybe you guys find it funny i will see you guys probably in about an hour when i have to make my lunch hey guys so another quick update it is three o'clock it's taken me over an hour and a half to finish but i did finish the grapefruit juice and the tea i don't have time to do a video today i also want to do a makeup tutorial my emotions are just not up to par plus i put coconut oil in my hair last night and it kind of looks wet and shiny and i don't know if there's anything i can do about it okay guys so we have come to the unfortunate task of eating it's time for lunch now it's now 3 30 i've waited about well it's been probably about an hour and a half or two hours since i actually ate yeah let's look at what we're having for lunch today so lunch is fairly small i think this is kind of doable it called for a half a cup of tuna a slice of toast and tea or coffee Ugh, I just went with a half a cup again. I don't really know what the measurement is. And for tuna, I got this Star Kissed Albacore white tuna in a packet. My fiance said this was the best and it has the less like nasty 
wateriness in it so i'm trying it this was expensive this was like 347 what the hell is this supposed to be refrigerated is this supposed to be stored it's not stored in the refrigerator section but i thought tuna had to be cold maybe i shouldn't have done that whoops let's try this i usually don't like tuna and the smell will knock you over mm. okay i can do the tuna uh, if you think about it too much it's not good i don't feel weak or anything i just feel very dissatisfied i feel like i'm having to cram in food um so that i can get done by six o'clock if i had woken up earlier it probably wouldn't have been as bad so yeah when six o'clock rolls around this will all be over for the day it's only three days and then i'm going to start trying to eat healthy and exercising and really focusing on making this a long-term thing so dinner looks pretty good tonight it is pretty big i think this will keep me full for a long time so yeah i will see you guys in a couple hours okay guys so i'm back for dinner and it's kind of six o'clock started a little bit too late but you get one cup of carrots one cup of green beans and then three ounces of any lean meat and i just grilled some chicken it looks a little looks a little too grilled and you also get one medium-sized apple a cup of water as you can see i took it a little too seriously and also a cup of vanilla ice cream which i'm not gonna get out right now we'll come back at maybe a few more hours maybe at the end of the night and kind of tell you guys how i'm feeling and whatnot and kind of tell you guys about how the day's been how i feel if i feel weak if i work out whatnot so yeah i'm pretty excited about this dinner and i will be back in maybe a few hours Mwah. so i'm back a little sooner than i said i just finished all my meal it's now 6 48 so i did go a little bit past six because my food took longer than i expected for it to take um but overall i'm feeling pretty good right now i feel very full i'm very happy that the day is over i don't have to eat anymore i feel a little dehydrated Maybe that's all in my mind, but I wish I had some H2O because I'm so thirsty. Uh, I'm going to go do a little walk. I'm probably going to do some yoga or Pilates tonight. Not anything strenuous or high impact. So I will see you guys later. It is now 9 o'clock. I just got back from walking not too long ago. And I also just got done doing a Pilates workout. Just a little quick little 15 minute workout. By the way, if you guys are looking for a really awesome like workout channel to work with, you definitely need to check out fitness blender they are absolutely amazing i've been working out with them every single day they have a ton of workouts like full length videos and they're really really fun to work out with so i'm not really hungry right now i feel kind of dehydrated my throat feels kind of dry and uh i'm having a hard time like finding where my spit is like where i don't know if i have any saliva anymore i accidentally sweat a little bit i don't really feel weak um that last meal the dinner was actually pretty filling so i was pretty happy with that it kind of made the rest of the day worth it so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog and i will pick back up tomorrow with day two um there's gonna be different meals everything so i'll let you guys know any updates tomorrow if i lose weight and whatnot so that is it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you do make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it below let me know if you like vlogs if you like me doing vlogs so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys tomorrow Mwah.